Okay, so it's Friday night, almost 12 midnight, <laughs> and I am sitting alone, uh, <laughs> tongue tied, <laughs> haven't had a drink or anything yet, still trying to fumble with this, my nails are kind of soft from being in the tub. So anyways, went to bingo, today my highlight today was going to shopping, all of where to the Dollar Tree. And on top of that, they didn't have the ribeye steaks there. So I could make my bagogi or prepare for my egg rolls that I wanted to make. So I have to wait till the next shipment comes in because apparently somebody went through there and bought them all. <laughs> so I ended up with some clams and something. I, need. I bought so much stuff that I didn't buy um, my chicken and shrimp from Walmart's. Uh, but I'm like, oh well. <laughs> yep. Because I had too much stuff to bring home. So anyways. Uh, I am still waiting on the people up at the top. To recognize that my work. That I've stayed up day and night doing. Around the clock as to why I don't have set hours. To try and help better the economy. Like, for one, while they were sleeping, before they actually changed the mobile phone plans to where they were going $45 unlimited uh, text, phone, and uh, media, internet messaging, and all that other stuff. Um, with the pay-as-you-go phones and stuff like that, they had like the play pan, uh, bleh, pay plans, jeez. Of like where you can get 300 minutes for and 500 or excuse me 5,000 text messages for like so much money a month well I was trying to explain to them that they got a bunch of little knuckleheads right here that like to sit down and they know the girls got those prepaid or pay-as-you-go phones that um, only had so many text messages that they could do or so many minutes they had on their phone and they were hitting their phones up on a repeated basis so they were trying to deplete their money on purpose as to why I got mad and started typing that up because that was a problem that needed to be, be resolved for a whole lot of people not just for myself because I know if I was experiencing it a whole lot of other people were experiencing it now that wasn't a, a suggestion that was work that needs to be paid for and no I wasn't prepaid for that <laughs> so I have to get um, back was it back pay for that which means I will be able to receive some paychecks again direct deposits to my account which will be yay lovely so anyways also submitting all that other information to the White House via the White House page instead of that um, sending an email to President Obama and First Lady Obama like I probably should have um, since they did send me emails I sent it to one of their workers which was Mike Mike, Michael something or Mike something either way it goes I, I'm not for sure what his last name was or is excuse me is <laughs> um, so uh, I sent that information up there to the White House though so because it's part of his staff up there so they should have that information. Also, the CIA and the FBI has a copy of it and the Congressional Budget Office. I did that all online. So I worked from home, but I just have not received my pay yet because I was doing my research and study also in Social Security as to explain why Social Security is not enough money at $949 a month for people to take care of their households, be able to pay for their um, food, their water, their electricity, their gas for their vehicle or if they have you know even if they got gas stoves um, in their houses whatever it may be for them not to go backwards um, because people didn't come up with better plans so the only way to increase their pay they have to justify their pay by increasing the bottoms pay excuse me for that which means if they're going to increase their pay their taxes need to go to help other people so if they're going to get 1.6 million dollars a month like the directors on Fort Knox and any other posts if they decided they were going with that NCS pay 21 and that NGS pay 21 of 
$1.6 million. Um, which the directors are pretty much like almost CEOs to a certain extent. They just, some of them need to get camera crews. if They're going to start trying to direct people's lives and make movies or whatever it is they're doing. So anyways, the NGS pay is their pay, the 21 or whatever scale it is on, a level it's on. Um, the NCS pay is for housing, clothing allowance, food, gas for the vehicle or also um, gas for the stoves or whatever. It's utilities, mobile phones, whatever, etc. Travel and of course the travel they would be able to get reimbursed. Only the travel, like the lodging and if they rented a vehicle and they had to pay for mileage. That's not it. That's all they would get reimbursed for. But the rest of that is just for them to for their appearance to keep up with their appearance. So how they're supposed to be. Since they're supposed to be role models for us. But then the taxes off of that for one point six million dollars I did not do um I did not do the math and calculate how much fifteen percent would be because I know the nine percent would go to the federal government. The six percent would go to the state, which means that would be able to help out the people on Social Security. So they could send that directly to the Social Security office to increase those people's pay. Because some of them are not making it and some of them are shoving people's houses and it's really, 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 really bad. So I did something that I thought was going to help not just me, but a whole lot of other people. But see, when great minds think alike, Someone likes to think that they're geniuses sometimes up there, but you know what? Technology can kick butt. Now at that point, if it's already been submitted in and people have gotten their information, the only other thing is how fast can a person type? I can't type that fast, so, you know. <laughs> I tried though. Um, I'm a technician, so I, I peck. <laughs> I used to get my hand slapped in the doggone computer class when she put the paper over her hands to type because uh, I just, me, I'm like, I can't see. So, you know, I'm always going to be looking down typing. I don't think I'll ever get it right. <laughs> but anyways, that's what needed to happen. Um, also for the aquaculture, it was uh, trying to treat the animals, the food that we were going to take, in the regular way they would treat any other livestock. Um, the same with that, to be able to better it. But I just wanted to bring it like closer into our community so we could actually have more jobs, not outsource it. Now, the only thing I'd probably say as far as outsourcing, like for the Philippines, do a little bit of clothing designing, um, of definitely like fishing, crabbing, whatever they could, you know, pull up out of the sea, ship it over to the United States for us to bring here. That means they'd have to have truck drivers or planes or helicopters, whatever, fly the stuff here. And you know, that gives other people work to be able to do and be able to do something great and then put them in a big aquariums and empty the water out weekly to change it and keep them healthy. Then them in set areas because I don't want scum and stuff building up on like they do in fish tanks sometimes so you know keep them healthy like you want to keep yourself healthy but that's all I have to say and of course oh no the agriculture world as far as like the farming goes the um think about that the hot water trucks the hot water heated trucks um we're supposed to be made out of a special material so that way people aren't burning themselves. The workers that would actually be driving them to the workers that would be handling the hoses to purify the land with hot water before planting seeds and purify the land after the crop has been pulled up for the season or cut down for the season. Um, it's just blessing the land with better health for all of us and con consumption. Um, I don't know. Then, what else? Oh, the air filtration systems could go on the highways, byways, freeways, 
um, major housing areas that are a little bit bigger and main roads, streets, you know, boulevards, whatever it is. It gives more people work ways, broadways and stuff like that. Um, they can run their own electrical lines if they need to. That's more work right there instead of connecting to the ones that are already there because then that's going to drain more power from that. And we don't want to put too much uh, pulling of the power on those lines, which means that gives more people more time to do that. I'd like to see how quickly they can do like certain areas in one day, like measured out piece by piece. I we got these many pipes we gotta lay down. We gotta put this much wiring in. Can we do all of this work in one day or two days? That means digging it up, run the wire straight through, having a whole bunch of people stand in line, but they get paid for that day's work for a whole year. But let's see, how about if they did one county per and that's we're talking about highway wise. <laughs> getting on the highway we're not talking about the whole area because if we try and get the whole area that would be great too pulling the community out to better improve their community and build on their community because that way they can guarantee them that they can have paychecks coming in for 52 weeks out of that year or for a year not out of that year because it may transition over from one year to another but they can get paid for 52 weeks that to me is a big improvement for a lot of people. That would get a lot of people, including myself, out of debt. That would get the creditors to stop calling them and harassing them, which means their companies that are probably privately owned and things like that can actually start prospering. They can actually start having money come in since they wanted to be rich. But instead of them trying to do the job creations, on a major source that are permanent jobs they didn't do to help create better jobs, permanent jobs, higher pay to actually help out the automobile industry, to actually help out the community itself in any type of way. You're just like, oh, we're in our last days. Oh, yes, we are at the end of the Bible. But at the end of the Bible, because the Bible begins and ends at a certain point, there's always a new. So we passed the Old Testament, we got the New Testament. The New Testament's supposed to be prosperous. It's supposed to flourish, it's supposed to grow, it's supposed to be happy, fun, but of course it's still gonna have some drama and hell and damnation in there somewhere. But we all have to grow. I'm not one that sits there and thumps the Bible like that on a regular basis. I, I don't. I'm not one that likes to sit there and preach. But knowing that in everything you do in God's world, in the world period, you'll find something in there that the government is put in there and it's referring to the Bible. Believe me. Heck, you can look at what computer on compact. And compact just the opening screen once you get to a point where your screen won't open up it gets the black screen where it goes uh, normal windows um, open or safe mode or whatever look in the corner it says rev 3 5 as revelation is 3 5 it's there it's there or is it 5 3 I think it's 3 5 so yeah and everything you do, they're always putting it in there somewhere. Just trying to find a path. That's all it is. Like my mom's, I don't want her house path. So I had to come up with the plan of housing and stuff like that. Try and create my world. I'm not trying to input any of the Bible terms into any of my work. I'm trying to create it where it's kind of, I'm not saying a Bible free place, but a place comfortable for people who aren't exactly feeling comfortable around the people that thump the Bible on a regular basis. I'm not trying to bring hell out. I'm just trying to understand what you all like to call us, the purple people, 
or the um, the it's in the world a better place to live since I am neither with a man or neither with a woman but they call me bisexual or a lesbian but I'm really not a lesbian <laughs> ain't been with a woman in years but so either way it goes I'm just trying to make it more comfortable I'm not gonna try and push anybody to go one way or the other if they decide they come into my area that I created to go back to the Bible they will because even in my work as far as the building structure goes the building structure I'm not putting any revelations or proverbs or Genesis or anything else on it but the building structure itself was going to be based off or for the Eastern stars the way I had it planned because up in the sky with the pillars that I was trying to have put in there they would have been made out of glass had rubies sapphires because they were all going to be one uh, different color I wanted chips of rubies sapphires um, emeralds onyx and diamonds in the pillars because they're supposed to be glass pillars but at the bottom they will have a solid color to them color but just to be able to see through it of the each color and then as you go up to the top it comes clear but you see the different colors of the gems in there that's what I was trying to implement in the building and have lights up under those so that means those pillars have to have a foundation built around it so the light is not sitting on the light to be able to shine the light up through the roof so that way the pillars you can see the pillars outside of the building and if somebody's flying over they can actually see the different colors and go ah you know haha -ha. so anyways I tried that's me I'm like huh let me show you something Okay, for my actual area, seating area, I want to take, I want to take, geez, not the bed, but the actual headboard, right there, the headboard, because it's lit up, I don't know if you can see that real good, it's lit up all nice and pretty, and have a couple of those made. For the seating area for the cafe that's what I wanted to do was have those made for the cafe inside the medical health sponsor line and just like to me that's what I want to do with the bed there just the seating area and have a couple of chairs there a nice little table and spread it out and then probably put a couple in like the walkway into the actual area but where they could actually view the pool a little and the massage parlor because one massage parlor where it's like a group of people in there they could actually see through it but they could have a curtain if they wanted to draw the curtains back because it'd be glass and then the other one would be private and that would be wood okay be like a couple type massage parlor alrighty but anyways this, that's just what I want to do. Good night. Bye.